Hello Blair and Stig, uh, our co-chairs for the Scientific Working Group, one of a really exciting uh, initiative here in Austin where we actually had almost 30, 40, 50 people. How many people showed oh, up at the Scientific people. Working Group? Yeah, no, that was, a, that was a large room and it was pretty full. It yeah, was, it was all packed. Great. So Absolutely. let's just quickly go through it. Scientific Working Group, where can I find you guys? What, what's going on? How do I find you online and how do I get involved? So find us online, I guess, on the OpenStack User Committee mailing list. Our tags scientific-wg. That's how we'll be coordinating things from here on. You can also find us on the user committee website, I believe, and links off to the etherpads and stuff on the summit there. So Luke. just quickly, let's fire through some of the key things that you guys are covering in the scientific working group. Obviously, you have a tight timeline. Barcelona's coming up in six months. You've just agreed some priorities. What are those priorities for the scientific working group? I guess we, um, we focused on four things. and. Um, uh, those four things were how do we do access to scientific kinds of parallel data, vast amounts of data, in a um, high performance, high bandwidth way. Doing that inside of an OpenStack uh, environment is, is something that everyone wants to have. It's incredible that it's something that everyone really, really is interested in. So there's a huge amount of interest in how we do that, how we do that really well. Um, we also looked at how we can use OpenStack's bare metal capabilities to, uh, to their fullest effect in a scientific environment. And um, I guess yeah. another one we've got. User stories is a big one, right? So firstly, we want to try and, I guess, position things, get the lay of the land, actually find out and formalize why people want to use OpenStack for their HPC and research computing workloads. Yeah. Uh, and then our last one was? Accounting. Accounting, so, that's right. So when you have a university site, I mean, or a, a giant federated deployment like Nectar, yeah. There must be a way, or an easy way, for you to um, account for the usage of your uh, your users on your system and on the, on the other systems across the federation, and be able, be able to build or charge back or, or just to track that resource. So. Excellent. So um, we're really looking forward to what you guys uh, achieve over this period. Uh, best of luck. Thanks again for coming all the way from England as well as Australia. It's fun to have three accents on an interview, isn't it? Everybody's <laughs> staying awake. We're all in a different time zone. Uh, again, thank you so much. Uh, and yeah, check out uh, Blair and Stig via the Scientific Working Group. Give them a hi on, I'm sure they're on Twitter and of course on the user committee mailing list. And check uh, out the Scientific Working Group uh, via Google. Scientific Working Group and OpenStack. Thanks again, guys. Thank you. Thank you.